morning, in a garden full of sunflowers, Miss Honeybee flew about happily. Miss Honeybee likes sunflowers. Miss Honeybee likes sunflowers. What does Miss Honeybee like in the garden? Miss Honeybee likes sunflowers. Miss Honeybee could not wait to sip sunflower nectar. She settled on a petal. Wow, this nectar is so tasty, said Miss Honeybee, sipping the nectar as fast as she could. Suddenly she choked. I sipped too much too fast. She coughed and coughed. Her coughing got louder until it disturbed the other insects in the garden. Are you all right, Miss Honeybee? Oh, dear. Don't be greedy, Miss Honeybee. The nectar is enough for all of us, said old Mr. Beetle. She was upset by Mr. Beetle's words. She pulled a long face. Miss Honeybee, I am just advising you. I don't want you to get sick, added Mr. Beetle. Why should you care? I'm the one who will get sick, not you, replied Miss Honeybee. She was, an she was annoyed by Mr. Beetle's words and flew away. on Miss Honeybee to find out if she took Mr. Beetle's advice positively. No, she didn't. She pulled a long face. She said, Hmm, why should you care? Tap on Mr. Beetle to hear what he had advised Miss Honeybee. Meanwhile, Mr. Spider was resting on the branch of a mango tree. He had just finished weaving his web. Even though he was tired, he was happy to see how beautiful his web looked. Suddenly, Miss Honeybee appeared from behind a mango leaf. She saw the sparkling spider web. She flew towards it to take a closer look. Suddenly, Miss Honeybee appeared from behind a mango leaf. She saw the sparkling spider web. She flew towards it to take a closer look. Miss Honeybee's eyes were dazzled when she saw the beautiful shiny spider web. Wow, this web is so beautiful, said Miss Honeybee in praise. She was amazed by the web and wanted to touch it. Hey, Mr. Spider, is this your web? I want to touch this pretty web. Be careful, Miss Honeybee. Please, don't touch my web. Yes, it's my web. Don't touch it or else you will be in trouble, said Mr. Spider again.